Alrighty guys, this is Snugs on Blitz and I'm back with another video for you today. I have just one game for you in this tank, the Stir WT, the tier 7 waffle tracker type-ish tank with three shells. Rather fun tank, if you don't have it, I would highly recommend picking it up if you can get it for a good price, you know, 3.5k gold or even 4k. Yeah, I think it's absolutely worth that price. And yeah, this game is pretty crazy. Um... Will we be able to pull it off, or will it be an easy victory? Let's find out together. So, looking at the lineups, well, they have a CC64. I have no interest dealing with that guy frontally, because he's a beast. They have a Sheriff, a T2065. They have an ISU, so i got to be careful with that guy. I see that they don't have the best medium tanks. So, since we have an AMX1390... Myself and another fast tank, maybe together we can put the hurt on them. Let's see if it works out. Here we go. Now, if memory serves, they also have a Skoda T56. And he is a beast of a tank. So, we're all heading this way. That's good news. We can stay away from the Skoda and the, T, uh, the CC64. We should be golden. This guy's pushed hard and heavy. No problem. I'm here to help. But the problem is they're rushing him. So one shell, I want to keep him alive as long as I can. Two shells, three shells, can I kill him? No, but I put the hurt on him. Unfortunately, here comes the freaking Skoda. Wow. Now, we do have a T-54E2, so that's good news. My reload will be done in a second. Can get rid of this guy. I'm going to get rid of targets quickly. Boom. He's gone. Now I'm going to go for the Cheery. Boom. Oops, that's a ricket. Oh, he's gone. So things are looking good. Now, the Skoda's getting out of here. Now, he's a heavy tank. He's not the fastest. And yet, somehow, our team has allowed him to, yeah, pretty much run away. Unscathed. I mean, I was like, seriously, guys? We were all here. He was right there. And now he's able to run away. I'm like, okie dokie. Since no one's doing any spotting, I will do that. Let's see if we can find any tank destroyers. Yes, there's one. There's two. Okay. One shot, just got to be careful. Don't want to get hit by either of these guys. Going to go for a reload, try and stay low. Now, we know that the ISU probably is going to stay there. Maybe this is CC64. If somebody could spot him up and keep them active, that would be helpful. Doesn't look like that's going to happen. These guys are obsessed with going after the Skoda T56. Why? I do not know. I mean, you had your chance when he was all by his lonesome. Now you're going to push in with tanks supporting him. I don't know if that's a good idea. But we do have the sheriff here. Uh, let's see if I can punish him. Wow. Yikes. He missed. I missed. That was awful. So anyway, we did have a nice little start to this game. Unfortunately, now it's gone back to 5v5. So looked good. And now we've lost the lead and i'm versus a tier eight tank not good news he's just fired though maybe a misfire i don't know what oh i'm gonna misfire as well <laughs> oh brother well, everything seems to be going wrong they've taken the lead again but now i've got a little bit of help the wz has come with so together maybe we can always oh, push in that's nice and a nice little nudge there he's taking the attention away from me i should be able to back up and punish him and maybe get rid of him. Uh, one more shot. Yes. Okay. 3v3. But our Emil doesn't have many hit points left. And uh, we've still got one tank unaccounted for. Those two guys are in a hull down position. They're going to be hard to get rid of. So you don't want to push in too aggressively too quick until you know where that other third tank is. These guys don't have any hit points. But my thing is, is that they're probably trying to lure us into a trap and there's the guy okay so the wz is gone now it's 2v3 i don't have any armor but the emil does a great job taking out the juto not the strongest tank but the problem is we've got these two tanks to deal with the skoda and the cc64 who's full health and now the emil's down to a one shot i'm like oh god no just don't don't do not push out stay back stay back negative go back hide hide now, they don't know where I am. That's the only advantage we have. They know where the Emil is. They don't know where I am. Now, I've said this before, but two angles or three angles can make you a very dangerous target because 
See, I'm going to punish him from this side, and that's going to force him to turn around. He doesn't have the best traverse, so now the Emil might be able to get a shot in. Going to go for a reload here. Nice shot in there. That's good. So now he's getting shot from myself and the Emil. And they want the Emil. They're just too dang slow. They just can't get over there. And I should be able to one shell. Can I get rid of him? He's backing up. That was a mistake. That guy wanted me. He couldn't hit me. Now I'm going for a reload. And now the tables have turned. But oh my goodness. What a crazy mess that was. So if you're in that situation, make sure you don't push in at the same time point use two different angles and you should be able to finish off the game like that i mean that started off like an easy victory and then it just fell apart i mean that's what happens when you have players who don't really know what they're doing there was no spotting done for from our team we had an amx 1319 i mean i got a first class 2800 just behind the mill great job buddy the best tank in our team the t5042 yeah no, that's very poorly played. The ISU, useless as well. And the Amex 1319 not doing his job spotting. Anyway, I thought you'd enjoy that game. And it illustrates a very important thing that I've talked about before. is two different angles. If you're in a platoon with your buddy, you can often set that up if you know how to play or you understand each other or you're on voice chat. So use that. It helps win games. That's all I got for you. I'll see you next time. Snugs on Blitz, out.